Wondering if you could save money using the VAT flat rate scheme? Well, watch on. As business accountants, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one of the most interesting topics where VAT is concerned, and there's many of them, is around the use of the flat rate scheme. So in this particular video, I wanted to talk to you about the basics of how that works. So this particularly is for those owners that are either having to go VAT registered or are VAT registered and earning under around £150,000 because there's a limit to this scheme. So I want to talk about that. So before we get into it, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below to get notified whenever we release more just like it. So the first place to start really is why would you want to use this scheme? So when you sign up for VAT normally, you get put on kind of just the standard VAT scheme. Scheme. So how that works is generally, and of course in these videos we're always talking generally, usually, in the majority of business situations, you're going to charge VAT. So let's say you have gone and you've gone over the VAT threshold of £85,000, you have to register for VAT. done plenty of other videos on, on these kind of questions of should you be and when do you need to be, those kind of things. But let's say you've now VAT registered. So now all of your goods and services generally and now have to have 20% VAT added. So your thousand pound service now becomes 1200 to the end user. If they're VAT registered, they'll be able to recover the VAT most likely, but if you're dealing with the public, it's now 1200 pound if you kept everything the same. Now that's fine, when you get paid, you've collected 200 pound of VAT, you're then gonna take whatever VAT that you've incurred, so you've paid your accountant with VAT maybe, your mobile phone, um, I don't know, you've bought other bits of equipment, that's, that's all this VAT you've gathered, and you're gonna deduct it from the 200 pound and hand over what's left to the tax people. So if you imagine you're recovering all that VAT and taking off what you've collected. Makes sense, right? Fine. The biggest issue with it is actually, practically, that's quite hard work. And because of the new digital rules, making tax digital, as it's known, you have to keep digital records, a quite detailed digital records of all those transactions, all those different receipts and the money that's come in. And of course, and then that gets transmitted in a VAT return and you hand over the difference each quarter or month or even annually, well, that's rare these days, to the revenue. In doing that though, that's gonna take quite a bit of time of bookkeeping and some paperwork. So as a result, they had a scheme called the flat rate scheme that's meant to reduce kind of the admin burden. And the way that works is that it takes a percentage. So they give you a list and they say, look, on average, we know roughly what these types of businesses actually get back in VAT. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a flat percent and you're gonna use that percentage against all the money that you've come in from your customers and your clients and just literally go, if you had 10 grand in, we want 12% of it, please, and that's it. Um, you apply that simple percentage, you put it on a VAT return, you do the VAT return, and you pay that money over. Now that means you don't have to keep all those millions of different transactions about your costs with your different VAT rates because you don't need to put it into the return. And as a result, uh, it makes life much easier from that perspective. So you think, yeah, that sounds good. I'm, I'm good with uh, easy bookkeeping. And actually, you might think, well, if I'm only handing over 12%, great, that means I'm actually potentially making money on the scheme. Now, the downside is when you do this is because they inbuilt in that, I'm using 12% as an example because it's quite a sort of middle, middle of the road um, percentage that they give you, but let's say it's a 12% rate. The reason they're giving you that rate is they believe there's an amount of VAT that you would normally be reclaiming. They, you know, they've got all the data on this. They know roughly what um, a person, say in the motor trade or whichever trade you're gonna pick, um, has and recovers. So they've given you an allowance for that. So albeit you're getting all these 20% in, you're then gonna hand over um, just 12% of that total money that's come in. And it, that in theory works out a rough amount that they're allowing you for the VAT you might have incurred. Now, of course, what that means is because it's a guess, there's the chance that actually you could profit. So going back many years ago, what would happen is you'd have a lot of service-based businesses that might be able to apply, say, a 12.5% rate. So they're charging 20% on their services, collecting all that money, and then only handing over 12.5% of all that money that came in over to the tax people, and quite often that would actually mean they'd be winning because they would barely have any expenses. The revenue got wise to this and they introduced some other rules, which I'll talk about later, that have shut that down a little bit, but there are still opportunities where actually you could win being on this system it could be cheaper for you. And again, there's lots of criteria about what you need to do to be on the scheme. But generally, if you're in business and you're looking and expecting to do under 150,000 in the next 12 months, this is a thing that you can apply for. And even if you're VAT registered now, it's still possible to join that scheme generally. And then when you're in it, you have to come out of it if you start to exceed about 230,000 oddly. There's a bit of a higher limit if you're already in it. So it gives you a bit of flexibility, but you can go in. So yeah, it's easier 
on the bookkeeping front and the records front, easier to kind of deal with, and also you could potentially win. So what are the downsides? Well, the downsides is you can't reclaim the VAT. So sometimes that percentage might not be enough and actually you're losing. So win some, lose some, and that's the maths that you need to do. The other thing is there are, without getting into too many details of it, there are certain instances of business types um, with where you're selling and, and the like, where the flat rate scheme is not gonna work, you're actually gonna end up paying vastly more VAT than you might otherwise. So that's something to be wary of and speak to a professional about. But in general terms, as we're talking, um, you could end up losing because you're spending too much money and uh, the, the, the percentage that they're giving you is not enough. So that would be uh, one. However, um, you still get, they still allow you to reclaim VAT individually on the big stuff. So like plant and machinery is quite often how it's referred to, capital items as they call it. What they mean is the big stuff. So if you're buying a new MacBook that's over 2,000 pounds or you're buying a new van or something like that, you could potentially be recovering the VAT on those costs as well as your percentage. So it's, it's, it's reasonably well-rounded. Where it starts to fall down, and this is the biggest trap, is going back to what I mentioned before about revenue customers realizing it was almost too good to be true. So they put in some extra rules called limited cost business. And what that means is, if you don't uh, buy enough goods, so if you think about it, if you're reselling stuff, like you're buying stock and selling it, you're probably gonna buy more than 2% of your turnover. So if you're buying goods and your goods are over 2% of your turnover, so the, the sales figure, the turnover figure, the money you're billing your, your customers, then that's fine. You've not got a problem. If you are over 2%, it also needs to be over a thousand pounds of sales for it to count, but you're fine. You can apply that percentage that they give you. If in a period of your return, you actually fall below that, so it can sort of fluctuate throughout the year potentially, then they say you now have to have the 16.5% rate. And that is actually not a good rate for the reason I'll cover off in two secs. But so yeah, if you count as a limited cost business, you then have to apply a 16.5%. And previously you might have had like an eight or 9% rate. It's a big old difference. And for a lot of service-based businesses, that's where you end up. So if you're a consultant and you barely buy any stuff I mean, we're not talking about equipment and stationery, we're talking about stuff like goods, like you might re resell, it's unlikely you're gonna use it. But if you're, if you're actually buying and selling goods, it's actually um, quite normal that you're gonna be buying more than 2% of your turnover. So that, that works out quite well. Now, you might think 16.5% versus 20% sounds awesome still. Don't understand what you're talking about, Dan. Um, it's one still less than the other. But let's just talk a little bit of maths. So don't switch off, it's a little bit of maths. I just want to talk about it. If you imagine, if you sold something for a thousand pound, you add 20% to it. So your sales price is 1200 pound. There's 200 pound of VAT in it. So you're applying 20% to a smaller figure. Now, when you get the money in under the flat rate scheme, you actually take the higher figure, the VAT inclusive figure. So you take the 1200 and apply the 16.5% to that. That gives you 198 pound. So you've got 200 pound, 198 pound, there's a two pound difference. The difference being though in the schemes is that under the one where you've got the 200 pound, any VAT that you've incurred and can reclaim, you can knock off the 200 pound before handing it over. On the 198 pound, you can't, you're stuck with that figure. So as you can see, you if you've incurred even two pounds worth of VAT on one receipt, you're already better off being on the standard scheme if you can deal with the actual paperwork aspect of it, the, the bookkeeping. So as you can see, if you end up in that limited cost business part, is not particularly great. And if you want to do that math yourself, the easiest way to think about it is if you know that you sell stuff for £1,200, forgetting what the VAT content is, just divide the figure by six. That's the, the cheat to get back to the amount of VAT. So if you do 1200 divided by six, it gives you the £200. It's a little cheat for you. So that's kind of the big tax trap with this and why it might not be amazingly good for you. And that is the flat rate scheme, pros and cons basics explained. What I would say though, before you disappear, is just make sure that you're definitely eligible for the scheme. And I would seek professional advice before signing up to it. The amount of people we speak to who have incorrectly signed up for it and don't really realize they're costing themselves money being in it. The downside of course being that you do have to keep your proper records. And I would advise accounting software at any point that you're dealing with VAT. So there we go, that's it. Please do share this information with anybody you think needs to know. Like subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and we'll see you in the next one.